So hassle-free car maintenance is what we're all about. So stick around, we'll show you an easy, cost-effective way to test your engine coolant and to choose a new one to replace it. So it doesn't matter what it is, car, truck, bus, every engine has got coolant running through the engine and the radiator. But how do you know if it's still effective or not? Is it still doing the job? Well, a quick and easy way to find out is these Penrite coolant test strips. So each little strip here, which you can see, three little uh, pink dots there, they'll test the coolant concentration, pH level and alkalinity of that fluid still in your engine. It'll then tell you, based on the results here, whether you recommend to change it so you can see pass or whether it's a fail. Now the next part on that is if it does fail, well, what coolant do you run? As you can see, there's a variety of colours here and depending on your make and model, it can be quite confusing on what one to put in. Further to that, each coolant is not compatible with the other and also each, many other brands aren't, com aren't compatible with other brands as well. So just because you've got a Penrite, uh, the green coolant here, that doesn't mean that XYZ brand's green coolant is also going to be compatible with this. So when you are changing coolant, strongly recommend first thing you do is use a good quality radiator flush, flush it all out and then just keep on flushing the engine until the coolant all runs clear and then you can move on to your next step. But first, uh, let's go see what these strips are made of and, and see them work in the real world. Let's go uh, test the coolant on uh, one of our cars here. So we're here with our Project F350, Clevo under the hood, standard, uh, standard style radiator, normal green style coolant. So what we're gonna do here is follow the directions, exactly what it says here, and it says uh, dip sample in for two seconds, shake briskly once to remove excess coolant, and after 40 seconds compare to this strip. So here we go. One and two. All right, so we'll give this 40 seconds to change color. Uh, let's go back inside the shed and compare the results. Okay, so we've done our test and the results are in. Let's have a bit of a look here. So the first test, it says compare the end pad, which is this one up here, to the freeze and boiling point. And if it's between 33 and 50, no further actions required. Now. This is for red and this is for all others, which the other one's green. To me, it looks like it's right up here in this light scale, which means it's it's in the fail area because it needs to be down one of, one of these three shades and it definitely isn't. So we'll move on to the next one. It says, um, compare the middle pad. If it's between the color 3.2 and 6.2, it's 6.6, uh, it's all good. If not, go to step three. So we look here, this middle pad, that looks exactly like that one to me, orange, which is bang, fail. So we move on to the last one and it says here, compare the color to the closest strip made by the pH chart. If the pad is between 6.5 or above 11, service is recommended. So this one is a really bright green. So I'd say it's somewhere probably around that seven mark. So in terms of pH, it says that it's fine. However, it's failed on all these other uh, indicators here. So you know, to me, I would probably be changing that coolant and it is definitely something we will be doing. So the next part after this is, um, well, what coolant do we run? Uh, I, I mean, that, that vehicle that we just used there was uh, our Project F350. Uh, that's been purchased with obviously no service history, no, no knowledge of anything that's been done in the car before. So what coolant do we put in there? Obviously it's green, but that could mean, I think it could mean the last person put the wrong coolant in. So uh, the easiest thing that I find is either going to the Penrite website or you can actually get your smartphone out and Penrite have a really cool, easy to use app. And they've got a product selector on, on the app. So if I go product selector and I'll just type in Ford F350. All right, so here we go. This is a uh, Ford F350 petrol and it's the right year range. We'll click that. And what we want is engine coolant. And there it says, so it's actually recommending 10 tenths race coolant inhibitor, which is what we've got there, which is actually what we run in Project Redline. So this is actually a glycol free um, coolant. So even though the green coolant is in there, Penrod are actually recommending this one and it actually gives you the full capacity. So 13 to 17 litres capacity total and a total flush is required. So this not only tells you what coolant to run, it tells you how much you need to buy and also um, what the colour should be. So there you go. I mean there's a green coolant in there and Penrod are telling us we should be putting this in there. So there we go. Now the 
there are these coolants all have glycol in them this one doesn't so as it says race there we can get into the detail this in, in another video but the reason why we run this in our race cars always is because glycol is super 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 slippery if it ever gets dropped on a racetrack and it's almost near impossible to clean up properly so if you drop oil or fuel or something in a racetrack, they can actually clean that up a lot easier than if your car has one of these glycol-based coolants in there. So if you've got a dedicated race car, don't worry about whatever the colors are. This is the coolant that should be in, in there because you will be number one enemy of everyone at the racetrack if you dump any of these products on the racetrack because you'll probably shut the lane down or if it's at a circuit, uh, you'll probably put everyone into the wall at that corner um, and people will come looking for you, trust me. So that's why we run this, easy to clean up and apparently it's what we're gonna be running in the, in the F350 project for now. So there you go. All right, well, that's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward and a really cheap and easy way to work out what coolant you need uh, if you need to change your coolant and also what coolant uh, to run. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Also hit that bell so you're up to date with all the notifications. Also give us a like if you found this video helpful. Until next time, we'll see you later.